Linda Israel here and I'm going to make an artist trading card. The scent of the day is Fresh Pear from JIC and this is a soy wax melt in my tart warmer. If you're interested in soy wax tarts or candles definitely check out my link. This is one of the rings I have on here. It's one of the rose gold ones. Sometimes those come inside one of the products inside either a tart or a candle or even with the body butters. Not in the body butters, it comes with the body butters. So what I have here is I have some of the Calico Cottage, excuse me, Calico Collage Digital Sheet. I've got my Brutus Monroe ink pad, a distressed ink pad from Tim Holtz. And we're going to do some stamping and make an artist trading card for the 52 Cafe cards. So what I've done prior to the video, this is some of the rest of the images, is I pre-cut out two of the images. One was here and one was there to make this card so it'll go a little faster. So I have this kissing couple and looks like she's missing some clothing. And what I want to do is give some color and some texture to this card. The background is some text, and I just want to liven that up a little bit. So I have some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in vintage pink. And what I'm going to do is spritz this on the artist trading card back. So I'm just going to spritz this a couple of times. And that'll give it a nice soft pink color. I'll set this aside for a moment and that'll dry. And then on the little kissing couple, I want to give the, her just a little bit of color in the corner. So I'm just going to spritz this in the corner over here. So that's livened her up and given her a little pink color. Now we don't want to leave him out. So I need a little bit of blue, I think, on this card. So I have another piece or another layer and I have a blue this one is sapphire and what I will do with this one is use the blue and go around the edges of this artist trading card now this ink dries pretty quickly but if you're in a hurry you can use your heat tool and dry it faster I have my Tim Holtz brushed corduroy and my distressing tool I'll zoom in so you can see a little better I have my craft mat here so I'm going to go around the color the corners and sides of this image just to darken it up just a little bit and while I have that piece out I'm going to take the Brutus Monroe detail ink and I'm going to go direct to the paper and right along the edge. I'll let it bleed even over onto the top of the image. And that just frames the image. See how that transformed it? I'm going to take the script writing and do the same technique. So I've added around the edge. Now I'm going to go in with the black. So now we're starting to build our layers. Looking at our blue. On the blue, I just want to give it a black layer or a black edge. Now the theme for this card is art. So I found in my stamps a Tim Holtz stamp, and you may not be able to see it, but it says artist. I have a scrap of paper here, and what I'm going to do is in the detail ink block, I'm going to stamp the word artist. Now I'm going to rip the paper all the way around. It doesn't have to be uniform, it doesn't have to be neat. I'm just going to rip it free 
is I just want to trim this down so I can use it on the front of the artist trading card. For those of you that don't know, an artist trading card is 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. You can make that in portrait mode or landscape mode, your choice. So that'll fit across the front of my card. I'm going to put it at a diagonal. Now, we can't have it being just white, so I'm going to use a little bit of the brushed corduroy around the edge of this. And to add just a touch of pink, I'm going to lay this in my spray box and using the party pink, vintage pink, excuse me, I'm going to spritz this just once. It gives it just a hint of color. On my die cutting machine, I have a little die that has this really cool Moroccan template, and I just happen to have a scrap of this, so I think I want to use that today. So I'm going to start adhering my layers together. I have a back, and this piece is two and a half by three and a half, so this is the finished background piece. I have some tacky glue by Aline's. I'm going to layer down my blue piece. I'm putting glue all the way to the edge, just a slight bead of it all the way around, and then a little zigzag in the middle. I'm going to position this in the center of my card. And what I like to do to help make this flat is I will lay an acrylic block on top and push it down and that'll flatten it out. Now for this layer, I want the couple to kind of be offset because I plan to put this piece on top like so. I'm going to go ahead and glue these together separately and then put it on top. So I want them in the upper corner. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here all the way around. Make a zigzag. Then I'm going to place them in the upper corner. And I'm going to lay this under my block as well for just a moment. <clears throat> now my little Moroccan piece is a craft color, but I want it to be a little bit darker. So I've got the brush corduroy, and I'm going to take it directly to the little background area and mush it onto the paper. So in some areas it's going to be darker, in some areas it will be lighter, like so. Now I want to adhere the topmost layer to the card, so I'm going to use some white glue again and adhere this down. If you're more impatient, you can use a dry glue like your ATG gun or something like that. It's just expensive to operate the ATG gun in my opinion, so I have a tendency to use white glue. Lay that on top for a moment. Now trying to adhere this piece, because it's got so many open spaces, can be difficult. So what I'm going to do is get a paint brush. I'm going to find one that is big enough. All right, I think I got one. And I'm going to use my craft mat. And I'm going to still use the white glue. But what I'm going to do is make a little puddle of white glue. And then I'm going to paint 
the back side of this with the white glue. So it's going to get in those spaces where I want the glue to be. And I'm going to put the word artist across the top so it doesn't have to have all of the places glued down, just some of it. This glue also dries clear. So now we're going to place this right in the corner over the image. What I like about the liquid glue is it allows you to move it if you need to, to position it in place. I'm going to lay my block on there for just a moment. Since I have the glue on my palette, I'm just going to mop it up on the back side of this word and spread it around with my paintbrush just a little bit. And I'm going to put my paintbrush in water so it can rinse out the glue. Then I'll take my word, as long as it's not upside down, and put it at a diagonal across my card, like so. I had a little bitty jute bow that I found in my stash, and I thought that would be kind of cute to stick on here. So I'm going to use a little bit more of my white glue and make a little dollop and put that right here above the A on my card. I have some little flat black fat bleh, easier to say than you. I have some flat back pearls by Paper Studio and a little pair of tweezers. So what I'm going to do is take a few of these off of here. Apparently I'm going to make them fly, and we're going to put them right down the side over here. And there is my art themed with artist, artist trading card using the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink, the Tim Holtz Brushed Corduroy, the Tim Holtz Artist Stamp, the Calico Collage Image using Tattered Angels Sapphire and Vintage Pink Tattered Angels Sprays, a few little flat back pearls from Paper Studios, and a little jute bow that I had in my stash. So this is week one of the 52 Cafe Cards from Marami's Cafe. You'll find her in YouTube as Marami Small Art. I'll have a link to the cafe and to her YouTube in the description. If you're interested in any of these products that I showed today, check out my description in the box for the link. And if you go to my Brutus Monroe link, you will get a 10% discount off your first order if you use my link. And again, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for more inspirational items that I share. Again, thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.